we have considered this time section between uh, B and C. This exact point passing through exact B point is not included. For shear, you need to decide whether this 20 kN load is a part of your segment or it is not a part of your segment. So if it is a part of your, if it is not a part of your segment, you're cutting just before this 20 kN, somewhere just between anywhere on this side, on the left side of B, your, your cutting plane is passing uh, somewhere on the left of B. And if it is on the other side, it, 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 it includes 20 kN. So it, it, the exact, in fact, the, the reason we do not have to consider it is that if I, I give you some a body like this, all right, and I ask you to maybe apply some forces like this, okay, something like this. Now it is, uh, you know, only this part is where shearing can take place because if you draw a shear force diagram, you will see that the shear force is, let me show you how the shear force diagram would look like. It would look like this, uh, zero then this way and then it will go constant for this amount of length and then it will change to uh, sorry it will change back to um, zero and then it will become go go to zero again this way so um, if, if these forces are equal for example if this is 10 kilonewton and this is also 10 kilonewton then uh, you will have to, we will see something like this, minus 10 kilonewton. Um, all right, this is what happens. Um, yeah, that's right. So, it will shear somewhere between, if, if, it, if this shearing ever happens, it will happen anywhere between, anywhere in this region. If I can highlight it, somewhere in this region. It will happen somewhere in this region. But it can never happen along this line. Shearing will never happen just along this line, line, line of action of any of these forces. It will happen somewhere in between them. So shearing can never take place along the line of action of the force. It will happen somewhere in between these two. So sh shearing is you know, related to some sliding. Sliding can happen uh, not along the line of action of the force. All right, you can think of it like जैसे आप उसको काटते हैं ना कागज से आप काटते हैं कागज को अगर इस तरह का कागज पड़ा हुआ है ना और आप कैंची से उसको काटना चाहें ठीक है मैं उसको कैसे बनाऊंगा मुझे नहीं आ रहा ठीक है समथिंग लाइक दिस ठीक है ये कैंची है अगर आप इसको समझ सकें ये कैंची है तो वो खैर ये तो कोई इतनी अच्छी डेमॉन्स्ट्रेशन तो नहीं जब आप क्या चीज़ इसके ऊपर रखते हैं तो वो एक साइड इधर आएगी दूसरी साइड इधर आएगी उनके बीच में डिस्टेंस बहुत मिनिमम रखा जाता है ताकि वो बेंड ना हो मोमेंट ना प्रोड्यूस हो रोटेशन ना हो बस वो स्लाइड करें कागज़ को काटना हो या किसी चीज़ को काटना हो अगर आपने अंदाज़ा किया हो कि अगर आप इसके ऊपर जो कैंची वो इस तरह से रखें कि एक साइड इधर काट रही हो दूसरी इधर काट रही हो तो वो बीच में बेंड होकर वो फिर काट नहीं पाता वो रोटेशन हो जाती है तो आप उसको शेयर करना चाह रहे हो तो आप इसको एक इधर से काटते हैं एक इधर से काटते हैं तो वो बीच में जाना यहाँ से कट जाता है तो शेयरिंग हमेशा फोर्सेस के बीच में होती है ठीक स्लाइडिंग उन्होंने करनी होती है ना सो so, वहाँ पे शेयरिंग कभी होती ही नहीं है तो वहाँ पे इनफैक्ट एक डिसकन्टीन्यूटी हम आती है शेयर फोर्स के अंदर एक जंप आता है ठीक है सो therefore this 3 meter is not included in any of these equations at 3 meter the equations for shear is discontinuous for, for moment it is continuous but for shear it is discontinuous